In exercise of the presidential prerogative vested in the head of state and government, under Article 132 of the Constitution, as read together with Articles 152 and 155 of the Constitution, His Excellency the President has instituted portfolio rearrangements in his cabinet and in the ranks of principal secretaries. The presidential action promotes enhanced operational efficiency, institutionalizes the implementation of various ongoing groundbreaking reforms, better orients portfolio responsibilities with both national development plans as well as the needs of citizens, and introduces functional changes that shall make the relevant ministries and state departments more efficient and better able to deliver superlative services to the public. Therefore, the new portfolio responsibilities and changes made in the structure of government are as follows. One, transfer of functions and reconstitution of ministries. Pursuant to Article 132, Section 3B of the Constitution, the following reorganizations and transfers of functions are made. First department, the State Department for Arid and Semi-Arid Land has now been transferred to the Ministry of Public Service and Gender to the State Department of Social Protection pensions and senior citizens has been transferred to the Ministry of Public Service and Gender. Three, the State Department of Special Programs is transferred to the State Department of Social Protection, Pensions and Senior Citizens Affairs and the department will hereby be renamed as the State Department for Social Protection, Senior Citizens Affairs and Special Programs. The Ministry of Devolution and the assholes, that is the arid and semi-arid land, is hereby reconstituted and renamed as a Ministry of Devolution. The Ministry of Public Service and Gender is hereby reconstituted and renamed as the Ministry of Public Service, Gender, Senior Citizens Affairs, and Special Programs. And finally, the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection is hereby reconstituted and renamed as a Ministry of Labor. Two, reassignment of cabinet secretaries. In accordance with Article 155, Section 5A of the Constitution, the following cabinet secretaries have been reassigned. Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma moves from the Ministry of Defense to the Ministry of Energy. Cabinet Secretary Honorable Charles Keter moves and becomes the Cabinet Secretary of the Ministry of Devolution. Cabinet Secretary Honorable Eugene Wamalwa now takes over the Ministry of Defense. Cabinet Secretary Margaret Corbia retains her portfolio, but as you, as, as you saw earlier, it was her, she, gave, she got more duties, and with a new ministry, it will now be the Ministry of Public Service, Gender, Senior Citizens Affairs, and Special Programs. Three, the reassignment of principal secretaries. In accordance with Article 155, Section 4 of the Constitution, the following principal secretaries have been reassigned. Principal Secretary Major General Retired Gordon O. Kihalangwa now becomes the principal secretary in the State Department of Energy. Dr. Engineer Joseph K. Njoroge now becomes the principal secretary of the State Department for Transport. Mr. Solomon Kitungo now becomes the Principal Secretary of the State Department of Public Works. Mr. Nelson Maras Ospita now becomes the Principal Secretary, State Department for Special Protection, 
senior citizens affairs and special programs. Ladies and gentlemen, those changes take effect immediately. <laughs>